Starting off now with education news. Today, the state superintendent of education released the 2022 school report cards. For the first time since 2019, these reports also included a performance rating for schools. News 19's Zoe Henry has the details. On Monday, the South Carolina Education Oversight Committee presented the results of the 2021-2022 school report cards at Prosperity Reichert Elementary. The superintendent of education chose this school because of high achievement scores on this year's report. Along with Newberry schools, Lexington Ridge 5 and Richland 2 scored above state averages this year. Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman says these reports show an increase. We are already seeing promising signs that students are recovering. In English, the report shows an increase in students earning a C average or higher from 2020 to 2022. And compared to pre-pandemic scores, students performed 4% higher in 2022. Isaiah Ferguson with the South Carolina Education Committee says students are still performing poorly in math. Over 40% of eighth graders score does not meet on SE ready. That means that they are two grade levels below their peers who do meet grade level proficiency. Outcomes for students of color and those living in homes that lack financial resources have even more alarming results. In 2020, 46.8% of students were meeting a C or above compared to this year with 44.2%. Ferguson says this is a growth area for the state. So I think that is one of the reasons we have seen such a rebound in ELA, not math. The state has invested for the last decade in strong infrastructure to support reading. This year's report also included ratings for the first time since 2019. Overall, more schools received a rating of excellent than before. In 2019, 250 schools rated excellent compared to this year with 256 schools. Ferguson added the state will now work towards better resources to help make improvements for math scores. In Prosperity, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. The full report with details about individual schools is on the Department of Education's website.